Hey there, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on ClickOrlando.com. New 6 Plus and the Pinpoint Weather app. Showers and thunderstorms will continue to move inland along the sea breeze. Collision storms are what we're expecting. And you could see a lot of the activity already moving back to the west of 95 in between I-95 and I-4. I do believe that's where the bulk of the energy is going to remain with a few of those thunderstorms moving back toward the coast by the evening. Let me walk you hour by hour. We start the clock at 3. Notice the bulk of the activity again between I-95 and I-4, but it does begin begin to move back toward the coast um, by the early evening hours. So we're still going to be dealing with scattered th showers and thunderstorms back across the west too, but it won't be as concentrated as along the coastline. So by 730, still the action primarily across the interior and it'll begin to fade away just after sunset. Heading into the day tomorrow, we spend the first half heating up pretty quickly throughout the day. And then in the second half of the day, scattered showers and thunderstorms mainly focusing inland will pop up throughout the day and linger it at least through about 9 or 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Again, the coast not really seeing a whole lot of that action compared to our inland zones. So for your overnight lows, we're talking about the mid-70s under partly cloudy skies. Here's a look at tomorrow. Your daytime high will rebound to 94 degrees. That south to southeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Your rain coverage at 60 percent. Again, that's mainly inland. Now let's get you some results and show you your pinpoint accurate seven day forecast. Heading into Thursday and Friday, notice your rain coverage bounces between 50 and 60 percent. We stay at 60 percent all weekend long with temperatures nearing average by Sunday with a high of 92 degrees. That's your pinpoint accurate forecast. Thanks for logging on. You're now up to date.